Wait, what? Did I just see an official confirmation? Yep, that's right. It seems like Titan Season 5 was accidentally confirmed. According to Nightwing actor Brenton Thwaites, the team is already considering plot elements to push forward with. Get ready because it seems like it's coming very soon. Stay with me until the end as I have some really interesting news to share with you. You could afford to be more optimistic. Yeah, but that would be lying. Based on the Teen Titans superhero team from DC Comics, Titans is an American action-adventure science fantasy superhero drama, a real masterpiece created by Jeff Johns, Akiva Goldsman, and Greg Berlanti. We got just what we expected with Season 4, but fans are eager for more and expect Season 5 to be released as soon as possible. Season 4 makes time for some refreshing character development and takes the show back to its darker roots. Season 3 lost its way at times, but in general, it's safe to say that it was a step in the right direction. The fourth season, however, picks up with the Tyler heroes on the road, and it was one of the most anticipated returning seasons of the year. I'm sensing a theme here. Dick really needs to talk to someone about the Titans merchandising. Like, I can barely find a mug. Hoping to return back to San Francisco, they'll make a pit stop along the way in Metropolis. But this wouldn't be the same show if they were not brought face to face with some nefarious new foes. So yes, their trip will be extended once again. In the early chapters of season 4, there's a steadiness that is very much appreciated. I would say it very much feels like the continuation of what came before. It definitely makes the most of that, and that's the best part allowing us to see some nice character interactions that you won't be able to see very often in other fast-paced shows. The Titans just get to be normal for a little while, and this is particularly prevalent in the premiere. The season was slower moving, but ain't nobody complains about that. It spends more time with its characters, which is great in crafting the new ones from the ground up. As established dynamics get the chance to breathe and evolve, this also works well for the Titans themselves, which we just simply get to know the characters a little bit better. Isn't there somewhere else we can go, like a, a witness protection thing or, or a different country? I've always wanted to go to Bimini. One of the most frustrating issues with this show, however, is its habit of separating its primary characters and sometimes even subsequently caring more about some than others. This was, in a way, improved in the fourth season, giving each character enough space to actually make it feel like an ensemble show, right? Often underappreciated, Starfire and Beast Boy are the characters who benefit from this, fans have been craving for them to get for years, but it feels like they are finally beginning to get the spotlight. The director of Special Project Star Labs, Bernard Dowd, is among the new characters and along with James Scully, he quickly becomes an enjoyable addition to the show. Bernard is always there to hit that like button, just like you should do if you haven't done so already. No, really, Bernard is always there to provide us with a little lightheartedness when the show gets dark. All this talk of darkness and new characters feels like the right time to bring up the villains. This show, this time, is returning to its supernatural roots with Mother Mayhem and Brother Blood. I was uncertain about this, I must admit, as Titans have fared better when it sticks to the ground. Commanding every single scene she appears in, Franca Potente is nothing short of captivating as Mother Mayhem. It will come as no surprise to you to learn that Joseph Morgan is incredibly compelling here. I mean, he has always been a titan on screen, but giving us a layered look into the beginnings of Brother Blood, well, I didn't expect that. Either way, I'd like to stop talking about the previous season here and focus on what's coming next. Let's speak about the potential release date and the cast list. Maybe now's the time to let go. <sighs> <laughs> Titan Season 5 is already being planned, and that was confirmed by none other than Brenton Thwaites. As you already know, the popular graphic novel Kingdom Come, Starfire, and Nightwing have a child named Mari, and this might be a storyline Titans is setting up. But when Matt Sheenan asked the actor about this plotline, Thwaites calls it a light for what's to come in Seasons 4 and 5. I just asked that they were very confident that they would happen, and it feels like he did that accidentally. He spoiled the surprise, but we're not mad at him. There is no official release date as of yet, but the rumors are saying that Season 5 might be released on HBO Max in the second half of 2023. Going by previous season's launch dates, that will probably be around August to October. Each Titan season has launched yearly during this time period, apart from production being delayed in 2020 due to the pandemic. Rachel knows what he went through. Yes, and her past blinds her to the truth, but yours illuminates it. One more thing before we move on with the cast and the plot, Season 5 renewal chances get also addressed by Greg Walker, the showrunner. Taking in mind the changes that happened at Warner Brothers 2022 has proven to be a rough year for DC TV shows. The network cancelled Batwoman and Legends of Tomorrow, and that happened with the CW getting a new majority stake owner. 
HBO Max, on the other hand, has pulled back on some of their upcoming series, so in circumstances like these, to have another season of Titans would be really amazing. HBO Max has been very supportive of Titans so far, and that was confirmed by Greg Walker on the promotion of Season 4 at this year's Comic-Con, Walker said, You know as much as I do, we're in a wait-and-see mode. We're excited about this season. You already know the words. I'm here to warn you. HBO Max is incredibly supportive of the show and really helping us become the show we want to be and get us in front of as many people as possible. If you've got an idea where it's going, let's meet and have a conversation because I want to know. And the most important question, what will be the main focus of Titans Season 5? Titans will become another DC TV series that didn't get to an end on its own terms if HBO Max decides to cancel it, but we're not going to allow that, right? On first look, Season 4 is being set up as the final season, based on all the plot lines. The team will smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. No, really, in all seriousness now, the team will face one of their iconic villains, whose arrival will also introduce the Church of Blood, the Dangerous Cult, and with Titus Welliver portraying the popular Superman foe, the show is also finally tackling Superboy's background with Lex Luthor, but only because the writers almost casually went into Season 4 as if it was business as usual. It won't be a surprise if the season ends with a lot of cliffhangers and numerous plot threads that will set up a potential Season 5. It's maybe too early to speak about the cast list, but it's expected that we'll see a lot of new faces in the next season. The core members of the Titans already returned for Season 4, so Season 5 wouldn't be an exception to that rule. And now it is time to bring Sebastian to his rightful place. As for the fourth season, Jay Lycurgo's Tim Drake will have to take lessons from Brenton Thwaites' Dick Grayson about what needs to be done to be a good Robin. After making a big impression on the team last season, Joseph Morgan took the role of one of the biggest enemies of the Titans, Sebastian Blood. He uses the moniker Brother Blood and he's the head of the Church of Blood. Franca Patente portrays Mother Mayhem. Lisa Ambalavaner, as Jinx is also throwing chaos into the mix. She's a sorceress who wields bad luck as one of her powers. Titus Wendiver also joins the cast as Lex Luthor, the Metropolis's biggest villain hiding in plain sight. Anyway, I just hope that this season will be released as soon as possible, or at least we'll have some official statements from the studio. Until then, we can enjoy watching Season 4 and make theories on what might happen next. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.